chapter number 2 sources of history sources of history try this make a list of things in your house which belong to your grandparents time collect information about an old structure in your locality a number of objects used by our ancestors still exist some inscriptions from the past have been recovered Sources like these help us to understand our history. History can also be learned through customs and traditions, folk arts, folk literature, as well as historical documents. All these are known as sources of history. These are of three types, material sources, written sources, and oral sources. Can you tell structures such as forts, rock-cut caves, stupa, etc. are known as material sources of history? Try to guess what other structures can be called material sources. Material sources. Man uses a variety of things in his day-to-day -day life. They are known as artifacts. Artifacts used by humans in the past provide us valuable information about life in the ancient times. We can decide the period of ancient artifacts like earthen pots by studying the shape, color, and designs on ancient pots herds. The ornaments and other artifacts throw light on social interaction. We get information about the diet of the people from the remains of food grains, seeds and bones of animals found in excavations. Also, we find the remains of houses and buildings built in different historical periods. We also find ancient coins and seals. All these give us information about human activities in the past. All such artifacts, articles, Monuments or their ruins are called the material sources of history. Do you know? Food grains do not last long. They get easily infested and turn into powder. In ancient times, people used to roast food grain before grinding them. If a few grains got charred while roasting, they were thrown away. Such charred grains can remain intact for a very long period. During excavations, such charred grains can be recovered. When these are inspected in the laboratory, we come to know what grain it is. Do you know? Written sources of history include inscriptions carved on temple walls, walls of rock-cut caves and rocks, inscriptions on copper plates, pots, bricks, and on writing sheets made from palm leaves and birch bark, etc. Written sources the Stone Age people have recorded many events and expressed their emotions in paintings on rocks. It was only after thousands of years that man learned the art of writing. In the beginning, humans used symbols and signs to record their thoughts and ideas. However, it took thousands of years for the script to develop from these. In the beginning, man wrote on pots herds, unbaked bricks using pointed objects. He also used bird, that is, Bhurja tree bark to write on. As his experience and knowledge increased, he began to write in different ways. He began to record the events that took place around him. Accounts of the proceedings of royal courts were also written systematically. Many rulers had their orders, judicial decisions, donations, etc. inscribed on stone or copper plates. Over a period of time, many forms of literature developed. They included books on religious and social subjects, plays, poetry, travelogues, and scientific works. All this literature helps us to understand the history of the various historical periods. These sources are known as the written sources of history. Do you know? Bhurja Patra means writing sheets made from the bark of a birch tree. Bhurja is the Sanskrit name of the birch tree. Birch trees are found in Kashmir. Do this. Visit a museum in your locality. Write an essay describing the artifacts displayed there. Collect the traditional verses such as Ovis. Collect folk songs. Present one of them in the cultural program of your school. Oral sources. Ovis, folk songs, folk tales and similar literature is passed on from generation to generation by word of mouth. This literature is not in the written form. Its authors are unknown. This type of literature preserved by oral tradition forms the oral sources of history. Do you know? An Ovi Panduranga Pita Vukmani Maji Baya Ashad Bariela Pundalik Ala Nyaya 
lines from a folk song. Mahanagari Ujni, Lai Purnivan Dali, Tethe Nandat Hota Raja, Sukhi Hoti Praja, Tinhi Loki Gaja Vaja, Asa Ujnicha Ikram Raja. Do you know? Sources of ancient Indian history, material sources, artifacts, rock paintings, pottery, terracotta objects, beads, ornaments, sculptures, metal objects, coins, weapons, structural remains, caves, houses, stupas, rock cut caves, temples, churches, mosques, pillars, Written sources, inscriptions on Harappa series, Vedic literature, Mesopotamian clay tablets, manuscript copies of Mahabharat and Ramayana, Jain and Buddhist literature, writings of Greek historians, travelogues, travelogues by Chinese travelers, books on grammar, Puranas and inscriptions. Oral sources, the Vedic, Buddhist and Jain literature of ancient India was preserved by oral tradition. It is now available in the written form. Even so, the oral tradition is still alive. When oral compositions are used for history writing, they are included in the oral sources. Sources of ancient Indian history the ancient period of Indian history extends from the Stone Age to the 8th century CE. We learn about the Stone Age period of Indian history through archaeological excavations. Since scripts had not developed at that time, no written sources are available. However, information about the ancient period from 1500 BCE onwards can be derived from Vedic literature. In the beginning, the Vedas were not in the written form. The ancient Indians had developed the technique of memorizing and reciting them. The Vedas were written down later on. The Vedas and the post-Vedic literature form an important source of ancient Indian history. It includes the Brahmanas, the Upanishads, the epics Ramayana and Mahabharata. The Jain and Buddhist literature, plays, poems, stone and pillar inscriptions, travelogues of foreign travelers, etc. We also learn about ancient Indian history through material sources like archaeological remains, ancient monuments and coins found in excavations. Precautions to be taken while writing history It is necessary to take precautions while using these sources to write history. A written document cannot be said to be authentic just because it is old. It needs to be examined critically as to who wrote it, why and when it was written. The conclusions drawn on the basis of various genuine documents have to be cross-checked and corroborated with one another. Such a critical analysis is very important in writing of history. What would you do? You have found an old coin. Keep it to yourself, give it to your parents, give it to your museum.